since October 1st, we've had over 350 positive tests. Now that's an awful lot for this point in the flu season because we're only about halfway done. So there have been seasons in the past where we've had about 350 cases altogether for the whole flu season going up through March, for example. So we have seen an awful lot of positive flu cases. Oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes, the onset of the flu will be pretty sudden. So you'll wake up in the morning feeling kind of okay, and then by the afternoon, you'll pretty suddenly feel just terrible. You might suddenly feel really achy, have a horrible headache, and just want to go crawl into bed. That's what flu does. Having the common cold usually doesn't do that. That kind of comes on sort of slowly um, and kind of lingers for several days. The other thing that makes um, flu such a serious illness is that a person is infectious 24 hours before they have symptoms. So that means right now I could be infectious with flu even though I feel perfectly fine. So that's why it's so important to prevent flu in the first place. So there are several things that you can do to reduce your chance of coming down with the flu. And the first and most important one is to get vaccinated. So vaccination for flu, you can get it at any time during the season and it will still afford you a benefit. Other things that you can do as well is to really practice what we call really good hand hygiene. And that means, of course, washing your hands because we touch our faces hundreds of times a day. So we can make ourselves sick in that way as well.